This is a place in which I started my journey for marathoning. This is the track that I started out on um, many, many years ago, uh, 1990. Uh, this is where my first marathon began. Uh, we couldn't, we couldn't uh, have uh, done it without this track because this track has always been where I could really measure the miles I've ran and how, what I was doing. And from here we would run, uh, this is a two mile track. And from here we would then take off to the outside. So this is like the beginning. And then you would hit the, the road outside to give you more mileage and probably come back here at some point and finish up and um, uh, take it down. But two, two uh, four, eight laps around here is two miles. Then the park is roughly two miles. So you could get a four mile workout, come back here if you were doing five that day, this would be the fifth mile here. Uh, if you were doing 10, you do two here, two out on the road, two back here, two back out on the road, and you would vary to give you the distances that you needed. So the track became uh, a place of uh, where you would uh, start and finish. Uh, you could cool down on the track. You, before the stadium was here, we could go to the restrooms in the stadium. Now they have the port of toilets, even better. Uh, the stadium also was a training ground too because the stadium had steps much larger than the steps they have there now. So you could run up the steps and run back down, run up the steps, and you would do a, a, maybe a mile on the steps. So there was all kind of variations of, of uh, training and done here. And a, a lot of people met here too as far as you'd see a lot of people you knew. Are you training for a marathon? Are you training for this? Are you training for that? Uh, so we all we all had enjoyable times here. We would stay here and Shoot the, shoot the bull, you know, talk about what we plan to do as far as the marathon. I invited friends out here to run with you. Uh, I had a friend from East Orange used to come down here because he liked this track, uh, Michael Granham. But he, he left us in 2000. Uh, went to Barbados and had a heart attack. But uh, he was an avid runner. And he said, he would say, Smith, you got to train, you got to train. You know, that was that was his model. You don't train, you're not fit enough. You're not fit enough. He always told you, you would never fit as far as Michael was concerned. You had to work harder. Because he didn't run, he ran for training because his sport was, was field hockey. So, but he had a lot of groups that he even uh, represented the United States in the Olympic team uh, with the field hockey coaches. So he was really into it. So he was one good guy to train with.